excited to show off these two albums that I received in the mail today. There is a 1936 and 1932 Olympics album from Germany from the cigarette company Riemsma. And uh, I'll show you some of the really cool things about these albums. So the 1932 Olympics were in Los Angeles. And I'll be honest, I am not a uh, fluent German speaker, but uh, <clears throat> I actually was using Google Lens to read some of this stuff earlier. Um, so the way that this album is set up is basically, uh, and I don't know what the cost was of the album itself, but you essentially um, would get the cigarette cards, and these are kind of oversized cards, and you could paste them into the album. And uh, I've seen these cigarette cards came in like packs of maybe like 40 per pack or something like that. I'm not sure if you could get them directly from the cigarette packages or if that's the only way you could get them. But either way, um, people would collect these and then paste them into the album. And this one tells the story of the 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles. And um, definitely some really neat history, even without being able to speak English, uh, German. You know, just seeing the, the history of the, uh, the different places that they competed. Um, this card here, which I say card, it's pasted in, but if you really wanted to, you could take these out. Um, this to me is one of the, the coolest cards I've ever seen. It yeah. is Duke Kanahanamoko, who was one of the greatest surfers of all time. I'd say before Kelly Slater was probably undoubtedly maybe the best surfer of all time, but he was also an Olympic swimmer. So, uh, so you've got Duke, Amelia Earhart, Pablo Nermi, who was a um, very famous runner, Douglas Fairbanks. So you got this kind of eclectic group of celebrities of the age. Uh, as far as I can tell, I think this is Amelia Earhart's first ever card. And uh, one of uh, Duke Kahana Moku's first cards as well. So that's a really cool piece of history. Um, and I'll kind of skip through some of this. But yeah, even these, which aren't, like this is an actual card, it's just a page. You can just see the, the masses of people crowded into the Olympic Stadium, which is really neat thinking about this being 90 years ago. Um, so I'm gonna try to get to some of the really interesting pages here. I didn't bookmark them ahead of time. I don't know what race that is. Looks like a horse race. Just really great photography, uh, great history. And now we're gonna to get to one of the greatest athletes in Olympic history, maybe one of the greatest female athletes in the history of the world, and that's Babe Dietrichson. So Babe Dietrichson competed in a bunch of different Olympics um, events this Olympics. And there you see her on the podium Here you see her uh, in another race. And here you see her again running hurdles. Um, so she was kind of a dynamo, just dominating the different, uh, the different events in this Olympics. Here you see her again. Um, and she had a really interesting life. Uh, she ended up being basically the first ever, uh, I guess, open or semi-open lesbian athlete. She was a PGA Tour champion, the greatest female golfer of her era. Um, and I just think it's really cool kind of capturing her history in these Olympic games. And she was, she was a top golfer 
in the uh, the PGA Tour or WPGA LPGA Tour uh, until well into her 40s. There's the Duke again. And you can see he was a, uh, a swimmer in these games. So those are some of the highlights here. There are some other pretty cool photos. There's some ice hockey, which is cool about this one. It's got kind of the, uh, the summer and some winter Olympics in here as well. Oh, this is a crazy picture. I'm not sure what the story is, but that does not look good. Some boxing back in the day. This guy looks like he was probably a wrestler. Somebody got knocked out. I guess this is men's field hockey. Now we're on to the Winter Olympics. There's a little bit here, uh, but here you go. Your first uh, hockey card. And check that out. Does that not look just super awesome? The outdoor hockey. Check this out. Canada beat America two to one. Pretty wild. Like I said, I mean, this is all in German, but I'm definitely going to do some reading up on it. Looks like the ice hockey final, Canada-America 2-2, two to two, so not sure what happened there. Cool. Well, that's a quick summary of the 1932 Olympics. And the back has this pretty cool graph of all the different medals, counts. You see the green line was Italy with, I guess, 68 medals. And this red line here, actually, they had to put off in its own graph with 250, actually 265 medals, which was the USA. So pretty dominant performance from us in the 32 Olympics. Now, the 36 Olympics, I will get to in the next video.